Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to Furnish Me. Today we are furnishing a beautiful little home submitted by Divenwab or Divenwab. I hope I said that right. You guys can go check out their gallery for all of their creations and we will be furnishing this home right now in speed fashion. I don't know, speed something. Anyways, it's a super cute home. I love I love the way that the stairs are sort of side by side. So we have this beautiful grand staircase that goes upstairs into a nice little loft area. And it is, it's, it's medium sized. I wanted to call it a small home, but honestly, it's a pretty good size. There's plenty of bedrooms. I think you could probably fit um, two parents and maybe two to four kids. I can't remember how many bedrooms or how many beds I actually put in each room. So we'll check that out here. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out together. It's been a while since I furnished this. If you guys don't know, I usually pre-record my videos and then I go through and do bulk voiceovers and then I schedule them out to upload throughout the next like month or two. So sometimes I forget what I've done, but sometimes, sometimes uh, it triggers me right away. Triggers? That's not the right word. Sometimes I remember immediately what the house looks like. And this one is drawing a blank, but I like, I like what I've done so far. I like the carpet and the couches. It's a bit colorful. I understand green and orange and yellow and purple are not everyone's taste, but I love colors. I am the self-proclaimed queen of color. And yes, oh my gosh, I, oh, speaking of pre-recording, I never know what order anything's coming out never have an idea of what order anything's coming out as in I can't talk I promise but what I'm trying to say is I will at some point or I have already made a video of the black and white challenge yeah speaking of color it remind me of the black and white challenge because that has no color in it whatsoever until the very end let me explain that because that probably made zero sense. Um, James of The Sim Supply recently did a challenge where he turned his monitor completely to black and white grayscale. So as he's building, he has no idea what colors he's setting down. And then at the very end, he changes it back to color and sees what he's done. And uh, yeah, it's a surprise. Surprise to see if things match or not. I thought that would be a nice challenge for me because it would actually be challenging because I do rely on color so heavily when I build. Uh, so I will, like I said, I will either do that in the future or I have already done it depending on when this video comes out. But the black and white challenge, man, that's a good one. That is a good one. That, that, that will be fun. I haven't recorded it yet at this time, obviously. That's why I'm talking like I don't know when it's going to come out. Um, and speaking of color, there is another challenge called the solid color challenge by my friend Golden Simmer. I will make sure to link Golden Simmer's channel down below so you can check it out. You can, um, make up your own color or someone can assign you a color and then you build a house using only that color. I was assigned the color orange by my friend Tanya aka Miss Griffey and I was so mad she gave me orange but then I really liked it. And yes the whole house had to be orange. Everything from the roof to the trim to the door to the stairs to the toilet to the sink to the furniture to the carpet to the walls to the furnishings all orange but it, it came out all right. I'll link that too if I remember. Uh, and if I ever forget to link anything that I say I'm going to link, just remind me and I'll fix it. I just, I, I tend to talk a lot and then I have to remember when I'm editing to uh, write down, link this channel, link this video, link everything you just talked about because you talk too much and sometimes I forget. But anyways, if you need a color and you want to do the solid color challenge, leave me a comment below. I would be happy to assign you a color. Uh, <laughs> I Why do I talk about colors so much? I don't know. I don't know. Did I really just spend four minutes talking about colors? Oh, that's me. That's what I do. I'm just a weirdo. Aren't we all just weirdos looking for other weirdos just like us? I feel like that's the point of life. We're all weirdos looking for other weirdos that are as just, just as weird as us or who complement our weirdness. Uh, no? Yes? Did I make that up? You too? Do you feel that way? <laughs> Anyways, we're working on the master bedroom and gosh, I see, I feel like I see this in every video. I have a problem where my master bedrooms are all blue. I don't know why I can't get out of that rut. No matter what I do, my master bedroom turns out blue. So someone needs to stop me. We need, we need a blue master bedroom intervention. I mean, give me some color suggestions of what color master bedrooms you like to see. I do pink a lot as well. Uh, kind of like my go-to color combination is pink and blue if I don't know what to do. <laughs> 
Ooh, that rhymed. And pink and green, pink and turquoise. Yeah. Oh, such cute colors. Such cute. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop now. Okay, nursery. <laughs> We're working on a nursery. Oh my gosh. I love nurseries. So many simmers forget about them. I know it's so easy to forget about the nursery because when your sim has a baby, they come home and the crib is already randomly placed somewhere in your house, usually next to your bed. And you just don't really think about the nursery, but I love them. And I love building these little, mm, changing tables. Yes, changing tables. They are base game items that I used right there. I don't know about the ottoman, but the counters and the little cabinets that look like they have baby bottles and stuff in them are base game items. So uh, I pretty much just delay an ottoman into a dresser and then some sort of pillow or uh, towel to make it look like a headrest for the baby or toddler. And I create my little, little changing table for my nurseries. I feel like we need a nursery stuff back though, right? I mean, I know, I know the babies are objects in The Sims 4. They're just objects, which is crazy that you could put them in your inventory and, and take them with you that way. I mean, that just blows my mind, but I feel like a little bit more focus on baby stuff would be nice. Do you not remember in Sims 3, we had toddler and baby play pens and swings and walkers and strollers and there was like a baby monitor. I think most of it was store content but still the fact that it existed and we have nothing like that in The Sims 4 really makes me sad. I hope one day we get something like that. I really really do. Honestly I don't think we will but I can hope, right? I can hope. <laughs> I can hope. And that little bedroom we just did, I put lots of clutter on the floor. I don't know if you can actually walk over that clutter or sit in that bear chair, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes I go more for the aesthetic than the actual functionality of a room, which can be annoying to some people that want to download the house. But for me, it's more of a creative outlet. So sometimes I just put stuff that I know isn't going to really work. Uh, so anyways, this big loft area, I never know what to do with these. So I usually make it some sort of reading nook. But in this case, I wanted to make it more of a play area. So we put some toys down, we put an art easel, a chess table, um, yeah, so you can actually have it as a nice big functional space for your kids to hang out since the rooms are so little. <laughs> uh, of course, there's an aquarium, the bonsai plant, lots of fun stuff to do. And I, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember to add more activities and skill building stuff to the builds for you guys so you can actually use them. Oh my god, I just noticed, is that pool ladder backwards? <gasps> I think the pool ladder is backwards. I don't think I catch it. If you download this house, you might have to flip the pool ladder around. Yep. And here I'm creating lounge chairs. These are technically functional. Your Sims can sit on the end of them. They won't sit on the chair part, but they'll sit on the ottoman part. So uh, they're still usable. I do this pretty often in my builds and my furnishes where I, I add little lounge chairs to the backyard or by the pool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that pool ladder was backwards. Oopsie. <laughs> and I usually try to incorporate some sort of grilling area and outdoor eating space as well as a place for the kids to play. Um, my houses are pretty, they pretty much stick to that formula, right? We have nice cozy bedrooms and then lots of play areas here and there. Yep. <laughs> that toddler slide I use so much. It's probably one of my favorite items. I wish we had a slide for the kids. Oh my god, do you guys remember we had slides, we had swings, we had jungle gyms in The Sims 3. We, we kind of tree houses. I mean, we have a little bit of that, but I want more. Please, EA, give me more. We're in the screenshots. I can't believe it. I don't know what I just rambled about for 10 minutes. I don't know, but here's the screenshots. Please enjoy them. Thank you again. Uh, Divin Web or Divin Web or Divin Wob. <laughs> I don't know how to say your name, but thank you so much for submitting for submitting this house for me to furnish. I had a lot of fun with it, if you can't tell. I mean, look at those purple chairs. Purple chairs? Who would have that in real life? I don't know. Do you have purple chairs? Do you have purple chairs? Let me know in the comments below if that's a thing or not. But I feel like that's the great thing about The Sims. You could be creative. You could have fun with colors and be funky and do whatever you want and live through your Sims. And this is the best game in the world. <laughs> it really, really is. Oh, backwards pool ladder. Wow, I'm a genius, huh? Okay. Good, good on me. Good for me. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
fix the pull letter if you download this. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you had fun. Please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. I post a ton of Sims videos. I have a furnish me series, a build me series, a house tour series. I build my own stuff sometimes. I live stream on Twitch every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. All of that information is in the description below, as well as my gallery name, which is Blah Stephanie, in case you want to download any of my houses. And if you want to submit a house for me to furnish, just upload it to the gallery with hashtag Simmerkey. Please let me know in the description. It is for my Furnish Me series, and one day it may appear on this channel. I, I'm, I'm weird and loopy at this point. I This is like my seventh video I've recorded today, so just ignore me. Just ignore me, and I... <laughs> ignore me, but subscribe. Mm -mm, yeah, see how that works? <laughs> okay, I'll go now for real. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye! <laughs> Wait guys, before you go anywhere, don't forget to click over here to watch new videos and click on my face when I disappear to subscribe.